Hi, welcome to Matt Holman Golf. I thought I'd take a look at Max Fitzpatrick today, one of the best young players out there. He's already won a couple of times on the European Tour, uh, US Amateur Champion, see a recent Ryder Cup player. So we can start on the left-hand side. I think he's taught by Pete Cowan's assistant, Michael Walker, who I took lessons off for two or three years. So if I can give you a little bit of an insight into to what they're working on. I think Matt's swing looks a lot like um, Graham McDowell's in terms of sort of a strong club face player. I think you're going to see when we start to look on the right hand side down the line, he tends to get that club also a little laid off there. So we can see plenty of the sort of logo of the glove hand. He has a little bit more weight on his right side than, than we would see with some. But then from there, it's generally a simple movement. Uh, there's a slight bump into the, the right side. I think one of the things I noticed in Matt's swing, he definitely gets his right arm a little bit uh, lower. I think we tend to see, uh, ideally those arms would be level there, so his right arm gets a little bit more under than some. But I think really what that allows him to do, where he's got such a strong club face, it allows him to complete the swing, really load those wrists nicely. So he goes ahead there now, and uh, nice pressure into the front leg bump there. I think what I really noticed in Matt's swing compared to some, again, he, he's got lots of lag with his driver. The chest starts to hang back a little bit. That allows him to hit up on the golf ball. So I think a lot of players by this frame would see the shaft, the club head sort of passing them a little quicker. I think for Matt he tends to have this movement where the club face is quite strong in the backswing that really allows him to hold the, the face square. He can then go ahead from there and just really keep a nice passive release and he's at a you know, not the biggest guy out there but incredibly straight hitter. I think in those mould of lots of really good sort of shut to open club face players, if we said your Dustin Johnsons, your Brooks Kepka and Paul I mean there's loads of great players really. So again from down the line just orthodox setup, neutral setup, it's not overly aimed left or, or right. He very much keeps his arms in front of the body which we tend to see with, with most of Pete Cowan players. The club face is sort of relatively closed there even uh, compared to matching his spine, it's a bit more sort of toe down. Arms now work really nicely through the middle of the body, club shaft points at the ball. And then we're also going to see this sort of Graham McDowell look here where the club shaft starts to point relatively off to left field. The club face is definitely sort of closed there, pointing to the sky. And we can see the left wrist is, is pretty neutral, but there, there's certainly plenty of sort of cup in that right wrist. And then from there, Sort of will go on a little longer. Um, he then just really turns his chest very well. It's a, it's a simple movement. So now by halfway down, the club shaft is pretty much perfectly on plane. Um, he can just keep rotating his chest over a stable lower body. So for me, why he hits it so straight? I mean, once he gets to delivery, it's as good as he uh, as it can get. Really, the the club head perfectly lines up with the glove hand, and now he can. You can also see how square the club face is now by this point. So even though, yes, he started with a strong grip, the club face was relatively closed. At the top, he's done a great job of turning his chest well, uh, keeping the cup or creating some cup in that left wrist as he, he comes down. And now he can just you know, go ahead and swing nicely left here. He doesn't need any sort of roll or flip over. And we, and we see that as the club exits, just a really passive look to his swing. I think this shut to open look is you know, the route to his consistency. There's not much rotation through the ball. It's also great balance movement.